say hi. Hey. Praise the Lord. There's a lot of distractions pulling this people video. away from the things of God. And we will stay focused. Yeah, especially so social media, uh, going to work every day. Um, especially in a sales job like mine, it can really pull you away from the things of God, focusing on numbers, focusing on making more money, focusing on paying your bills, focusing on a spouse, focusing on your children, focusing on the things of this world, the cares of this life. You know, the Bible says in Jesus Christ himself, Yahusha commanded us to cast his anxiety, our anxieties and our burdens upon him. Um, and to really lay it before his feet. And when we do that, when we just give it all up to the Most High and say, listen, my employer, that's not my boss. God Almighty is my boss. I work for him, right? My wife, my marriage, my children. God gave me these things, right? So he wouldn't have gave me these things as his child if he, if he wouldn't provide for me, right? If Amen. he wouldn't provide for the cause, for the gifts that he gave me. So we understand as children of the Most High that He is our Heavenly Father. And He said if He feeds the birds, yet they have no clothes, right? They reap nor sow, yet He gives them a place to live. Uh, he feeds them. He takes care of the animals in the animal kingdom. How much more will He take care of His children? He is a Father. He is a Heavenly Father and a mighty King. And we're His servants if we serve Him now. We all serve Him and obey Him. Cast our cares upon Him. He will provide for us. He will increase us. He will bless us. And He will sustain us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because on the last day, it's not going to be the question of what was your job title? What degrees did you have? How many houses did you own? How many mortgages did you pay off? How much did you have in your bank account? How many vehicles did you have? How many car titles? What are they worth? People are seeking after materialistic things and in America we're very puffed up, prideful on those things because we earn them, we work for them, but the gospel goes a completely different way and it's not against having materials, it's just um, are we using those materials for the kingdom of God? And the reason we don't have it maybe right now is we don't need it right now, but everything that we need for our purpose, we have right here and right now. And if we don't need it, God says that we can ask and we shall receive and knock on the door shall be open to us. But on the last day, we're going to really be um, challenged um, regarding our particular assignments. And we want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many things. Come in and enter the joy of the Lord. And we want our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life, so receive Jesus today. We love you all. Praise the Lord.